Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video with Matt. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy birdhouse, but first you're going to need a few things. Alright, so today for this project you're going to need some 1x6 lumber, a tape measure, a pen or a pencil, a speed square, you'll need a miter saw or a sour box, you need to find yourself a skill saw, I recommend using the 3 quarter inch number 2 head screws, impact driver or number 10 countersink bit, you need at least a one and a quarter to a one and a half to two inch wood bit, guys. Doesn't matter, but one and a quarter would be your minimum. And then you need to either get stain or paint if you want to, but I also recommend just to leave it natural wood to attract birds. You'll also need to get a 564 drill bit, guys, and then you need to get yourself like a hook type of hanging device. I mean, you can hang it any way you want to, but for this project, I'm just going to use the simple hook screw into the top, and then we can hang that off of something. Alright guys, so our first cut that we're going to do is our base, so you need to cut out a piece that is 8 inches. Alright, so for the next cut, you need to cut out 2 at 9 and 3 quarter guys, and that will be your two side pieces. Alright, so now we're going to cut out roof number 1, and you need to cut that out at 12 inches guys, that'll be roof number 1. And for roof number two, you need to cut out one that's 12 inches long and four and three quarters wide, guys. So go ahead and cut you one that's 12 inches long and then turn it to its side and pull and make sure you got it four and three quarter inches wide. That'll be roof number two. And for our last two cuts will be our front and back piece, guys. You need to make sure that those are nine and a quarter and that they have two 45 cuts. And that'll look just like this, guys. So from this point right here of the two 45s that we cut on the board, you need to measure down and make sure that it is nine and a quarter. Best way that I could explain real quick to do this is to put your board up on the saw, cut you a 45, and then turn your blade the other way. Cut your other 45 dead on the center mark right there and then just measure back from your point and mark nine and a quarter and then just cut it flat guys. So do that out there and you will get both of these pieces just like that. Alright guys, so once you got all of your pieces cut out, what you need to do is just go ahead and take your base for now and just stick that to the side, right? We're not going to need that right this second. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and use our number 10 countersink bit that we use, guys. That way our screws don't split our boards right here. So you want to take your two side pieces in each corner of the side pieces. You want to make you a mark like I did here and then go ahead and countersink each corner on your sides right there. Then you want to take your front and back two pieces that you have and then just the bottom two corners guys You just want to go ahead and put you some countersink holes in those Then on your roof on your one that's a full-size roof 12 inches You want to go ahead and put your countersink holes in each corner right there also And then you just want to wait on your last roof because you don't know exactly where it's going to line up yet And you don't want your screws to intersect into each other and block it from going in so so we'll wait to make those countersink marks once it's time to put this on there. So now let's go ahead and show you guys how to drill your hole out in your front door right here, guys. So what you need to do is take one of your boards right here from your front and you need to measure down five inches from the tip and then put you a mark, right? Then you need to measure over three inches from this side and put you another mark and that'll be your center mark to drill your hole out with. Alright, so once we've got our hole drilled out in our front side, we can now just stick that to the side also. And you want to take your back side piece just like this. And just want to go ahead and stand that up just like that. Then you want to take one of your side pieces. And you just want to go ahead and get that nice and lined up. Just like that. And then you want to go ahead and take your 3 quarter inch number 2 head screws. And you want to make sure you get that lined up nice nice and tight and then go ahead and shoot that screw in place just like that then you can go ahead line it up and shoot you a screw in the bottom side right here guys just like this all right so that's in place so now i want to take my other side piece and we want to repeat that exact same thing we'll come over here line it up on that side right there just like that so you want to make sure everything's nice and flush and then shoot you two screws in there also. All right, so once you get your other side attached, so what you want to do now is you want to take your base, your bottom eight inch piece, and then you just want to go ahead and lay that inside there and go ahead and slide it to the front right here. 
just like that and then what you want to do guys is just hold that and like i said you can use wood clamps but it's not really necessary for this project and then you want to just want to hold it in place and shoot you two screws in the bottom just like this all right and then we want to shoot us another one in the front on the other side Alright, so now what we want to do is spin that around. See, that's what you got so far, right? You got this going on. So now you want to take your other front piece that has the door on there. And that's what this little space right here is for. Go ahead and get that lined up in there. And then we can go ahead and shoot our screws in the sides right here, guys. Alright, and then once you get that side screwed up, you just want to turn it around. Make sure you get everything nice and flush and repeat the exact same thing on this side. Like that. And the one in that bottom. Alright, so there is the main frame of your birdhouse right there, guys. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and get this roof on, right? So let's get that going now. Alright, so the next thing that I want you to do, guys, is I want you to take your smaller roof right here. And on one side, just like this from the end, I want you to pull and measure out one and an eighth and then make you a mark, guys. So that's going to mark where it's going to overhang off the side of your board right there. So you can line that line up right there, just like that. And when you go to put the board on, you'll know that's about where you need. So you got an even space over the front and the back side right there, guys. So go ahead and mark one and an eighth on your smaller roof board. And then on your regular 12 inch size board, you need to do the same thing on one of them. You need to mark your one and an eighth on that also. So now what you can do is once you do that, guys, is you need to take these two together and make sure you got your two boards with your marks lined up. And you want to go ahead and line these up and you can go ahead and shoot a screw here and in the bottom down here to go ahead and join these two boards right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast. Now that we got our roof screwed together like this, as you can see, guys, so what we're going to do now is place that roof right on top right there. And you want to make sure that you line it up with the lines that you made at an inch and an eighth right here. So you got the perfect space overhang. So now what we want to do is we need to make sure that we're lined up like right here and come over here and you want to make two marks like one here and one here and you want to do the same thing over here make sure you line straight up with this wall because that's where your beam is going to be and you need to place yourself two marks right there then we're going to take our number 10 countersink tool real quick and you just want to go ahead and in place and just drill those holes real quick all right so that's how easy that is to drill out your countersink so go ahead and drill all those out real quick then we'll be ready to screw this side onto the walls all right once you have all of those holes that you need to drill countersunk you can go ahead and just hold it sturdy shoot your first screw in like that and then instead of putting this one in that could cause it to shift you want to come right over here to this top corner one right here guys and go ahead and hold it firm and get that screwed in now you can come over here to the both of these sides and then hit these up And then you just want to repeat that on the other side to make sure you get some nice screws over on this side also. Alright guys, so there we go. The birdhouse is now complete. Let's take a look around. You can see there's the sides. It's got the roof. Got an enclosed back side. We got our little gaps right here for venting in the summertime so it's not too super hot in there guys. And we got our hole in the front that they can come in and out of guys. So the next thing we need to do is get a hook put in the top right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill a little hole right here in the top with a drill bit. And then what we're going to do is screw that in and then we'll be able to hang it up somewhere guys. So let's go ahead and get our mounting device in and hang it up. Alright so now what I want to do guys is I want to pull my tape up to here and I want to mark the half center mark at 6 inches right here guys. So let's go ahead and mark that. 
That's six right there. Then we're gonna take our drill bit. You wanna get it right on the ledge and just kind of start it like this and then just flip it up like that right there, guys, so that you go straight down into that corner right there and just kind of drill into it. All right, then we'll take our hanging loop right here. Go ahead and get that started in there. And twist that in place. All right, guys, so now that hook is in there nice and tight, ready to hang our birdhouse. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, so here is the birdhouse now hanging up here on my front porch. You can kind of spin it any way that you need it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if you made one and how it works for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Peace.